Hey guys, Loremaster here, and we're back with another Minecraft modding tutorial series. This time we're going to be making a new mod for Minecraft version 1.12, um, and I know I had a series going on 1.11 uh, Minecraft, but I'm switching over to 1.12 because the code is a lot simpler, and it's a lot different, but it helps with um, a lot of texture errors that a lot of people were having, um, and overall it's just a lot more simple to understand. Um, but if you're new to this, uh, in this series we'll be making a Minecraft mod. You'll be able to add whatever you want to Minecraft, uh, blocks, recipes, um, items, tools, um, even origin and like new biomes and hopefully dimensions if we get there, but we'll see. Um, and so it's going to be awesome. You don't need any prior Java experience or modding experience or even coding experience. You can just follow along, although it is recommended you know a little bit about Java just so you don't fall behind. But um, in this first episode, we're going to be setting up the workspace, which is where you're going to be doing all your coding and actually like making the mod. And it's a little bit confusing, so I thought I'd walk everyone through it. Alright, so with that said, the first thing you're going to want to install is Java. We're going to be installing Java JRE and Java JDK, um, both are required, and it's very simple. You'll see up here I have a bunch of different um, websites, but all of these are going to be in the description, so don't even worry about trying to find them yourself. Just go down to the description and find them um, when I tell you to, and it should be really simple. But we're going to get Java SE Development Kit first. Um, so just come to this little website, it'll be down in the description again. Um, scroll down to Java SE Development Kit 8U152 um, and accept the license agreement. And you're going to want to click whichever one corresponds to your operating system. In my case, it's Windows 64. So just click this little button right here. It'll come up with a little window, save it to your desktop. I already did that, but um, do that if you haven't. And you'll get a little box right here that says JDK. Um, 8U152 or whatever, just double click that. So when this window pops up, just hit next. Um, don't worry about any of this stuff here, again hit next and it'll install a little um, thing right here. I'll be right back when that's done. So now that that is done, a um, installation folder will come up. Um, you can just keep it where it is, hit next and a new installer will pop up. I'll come back when that's done installing. So once that's done, it'll say successfully installed here and you can just hit close. Um, so now JDK is installed. So we don't need this installer anymore. We can just throw it away. And the next thing you're gonna wanna get is um, we can close this too. Java SE runtime environment. This is going to be the actual Java that you'll use to like run the mod um, later on. Um, so again, come to this link. It'll be down in the description. It'll be runtime environment, not um, the the one we just installed was development kit. This will be runtime environment. Go down to Java SE runtime environment 8U152. Um, accept the license agreement and once again find your operating system. If your Windows, don't click the Windows 64 or Windows 86. That's going to be a .tar which you, do, you can't use. Make sure to click the offline version. So for me it's Windows 64 offline. Click this little button right here. Um, again, if you're like Mac or whatever you can just choose whichever one corresponds to you. But I already have it um, downloaded to my desktop so I won't do it but you should. And um, it'll be here. It'll be called JRE8U152. Double click that, and just like the last one, hit yes. Um, it'll look very, very similar, and it'll install the same way. It's very simple. Um, so when it pops up, it'll say, welcome to Java. You can just hit install, and it'll come up with a little installer, and I will be right back when this is done. All right, so when it's done, it'll say you have successfully installed Java. I'm um, with a little green check mark. You can hit close, and that is JRE installed. So we can delete that, and now you have Java installed on your computer. So the next thing we're going to be doing is setting up your Java environment variables. Now, this is going to allow for your computer to actually use Java and utilize it when coding. Um, this part is a little risky because if you mess up, you could mess up some of your basic computer functions. Um, so please be really careful when following this one step. I would recommend watching this step first, then re-watching it and doing it again. But um, you know, it's, it's your computer, so um, hopefully you'll be safe um, when following this. But as long as you follow along, um, you'll be fine. So go down to your search bar down here and you're going to want to click um, advanced and it'll say view advanced system settings. If you click that, you'll get this little box up here. Make sure you're on the advanced tab and click environment variables. A new box will come up and this is going to have all your environment variables in it. Um, we're going to come back to this in a second, but first we need to pull up our actual Java um, path. So go down to your file explorer and you're going to want to go to this PC, your C drive, 
program files and Java. And you'll find a little folder that says JDK 1-8-0. Um, click that and make sure to click bin as well. Now this is going to be your, um, your file path essentially for this environment variable. You're going to want to click on this and highlight it, control C or copy, um, and then go back to this box over here and you're going to want to find down here in system variables a thing that says path. Click this and hit edit and you'll see all these different things. Please don't touch any of them, um, but click a new. A box down here will come up and you can control V or uh, paste uh, your environment variable path right there. Hit OK. And then if you want to go back and make sure that's in there, you can hit edit and scroll down and it should be right here. It should say C program files Java JDK 1.8.0 and bin. Um, so that's all set up. Now we need to set up the home variable. Um, so in this system variables down here, hit new. And you're going to want to call this Java underscore home in all capitals. And below here, you can paste that same um, directory, but make sure to delete bin. So just have it end on JDK and all the li little numbers that come afterwards. And you can hit OK, and you should be able to find it. Here we go, Java Home. And we'll just double check to make sure that path still has that thing. Yeah, so we have our JDK set there. Um, so that should be it. You can hit OK. You can hit OK again. And that should be your environment variable paths um, fully set up. All right, so that was all the complicated stuff, and now that we're done with that, it should be really simple to start um, working on your mod. So the next thing we're gonna wanna install is Eclipse, which is gonna be the workspace where you actually like code. Um, if you've never used Eclipse before, it's really awesome. Um, a lot of developers use it. This link will again be in the description, so you can click the Eclipse link, and it'll bring you to this download page. You're just wanna, gonna wanna click download. Um, it'll give you this little thing. You don't have to donate. That's all voluntary. It is a free program um, And it should give you this thing save to desktop again. I already have it um, Downloaded onto my desktop, but it should give you this little box right here and you can double click that an application um, And it should pop up might take a little bit All right, so here's the Eclipse installer um, and it will give you this box with a lot of different options. I know it's kind of, you know, confusing. Click the one at the top called Eclipse IDE for Java developers. It'll have these little green and purple uh, circles. Um, click that and you're gonna wanna click install. You'll get this uh, license agreement, just accept now. And it should install and I will see you guys when it's done. All right, so once that's done installing, you'll get this little launch button. Um, don't worry about it, just click X. It'll say, oh no, do you wanna launch it? Just hit no. Um, and you can delete this installer, we don't need it anymore. And here is your little um, application. It's called Eclipse Java Oxygen or whatever version of Eclipse you downloaded will work. Um, just drag it to the side here for now. Um, and that should be Eclipse fully downloaded. All right, so the last thing we need to do is get Forge, which is gonna let us actually do the mod. So. Come to this last link, it'll be in the description as well. Make sure that you get the 1.12.2 version, the recommended um, especially, and you're gonna wanna get the MDK version, not the installers or any of that stuff. So click the MDK down here, and it'll take you to this weird ad page. Don't click on any of the ads, it's just trying to get you to click on it. There will be a thing in the top right corner that says please wait a couple seconds. Once that's done, there'll be a skip button, click that. Um, and you'll get this little box down here. Save it to your desktop, but of course I've already done that for conveni convenience. Um, and you'll get a little um, RAR folder, or you know, if you have 7-zip, it'll be a zip folder for Forge. If you double click that and it has all these files in here, then you're, you're set to go. So um, in order to utilize this, we're gonna make a new folder on our desktop called Minecraft Modding. And you can put your Eclipse Java Oxygen like application in there. Inside of this folder, we're gonna make another folder, and this is gonna be the name of the mod that you're making. So let's say it's called void mod. We'll call it void mod or whatever. But for this one, I'm gonna call it tutorial mod just for simplicity. Um, and don't add any spaces, just like make each new word a um, uppercase letter, start with an uppercase letter. So inside of here, you're gonna double click that, open up your forge um, MDK that you downloaded, and you're gonna wanna highlight all this stuff and just drag it over into here. Once that's all in there, you should be good to go.
So we actually don't need the forge fi uh, folder anymore, so we can just delete that off of our desktop. Um, but what you're going to want to focus on is your mod folder right here. We're going to actually unpack this and allow for your computer to use it and, um, you know, allow for Eclipse to use it. So you're going to want to come down here to your search bar and type in CMD. This will bring up a command prompt. Click that. It'll be a black box. And you're going to want to click up here on your path, your file path. Just highlight up to desktop. You don't need to worry about the users or your username or C or any of that stuff. Just go up to desktop. Go back to your black box and you can type CD space and then paste that little path that you put in there. Press enter and now you'll see that you're in your file path. Um, now inside of here, you're going to want to type gradlu setup decomp workspace. Now, when you hit enter, it's gonna come up with all this stuff. Don't worry about it, it's installing and setting up your workspace for Eclipse to use and which you'll be using to mod later on. So I'm gonna let this run and I'll come right back when it's all done. So when you're done, it'll say build successful and the total time that it took. Um, yours might take uh, quite a while, so be patient. But once you're done with that, you're gonna wanna type Gradlu Eclipse. And this is basically gonna unpack uh, the actual mod for Eclipse. So let that run and I'll be right back when that's done. All right, so that will take a lot less time, but it should also say build successful. And if none of these work, um, that means you either have an issue with your Java and the path variables or the actual like forge itself. Um, so, but if you have any issues, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to you as quick as possible. But with that done, you can close out of this and you should have a bunch of new files in here. Um, but what you want to go back to is your Minecraft modding folder um, with Eclipse Java Oxygen. Double click that. And this is going to be what you're going to be using to code. So when this pops up, it'll say, you know, choose a workspace. You're going to want to hit browse and go to, you're gonna to wanna to click your mod essentially. So desktop, um, Minecraft modding, tutorial mod, and click the Eclipse folder. Once that's done, it should look very similar to this. Um, and then you wanna hit launch. And this will launch Eclipse. So inside of Eclipse, you'll have this thing that says MDK example. If you double click that, it'll turn into like a little project. You can open it with this little uh, clicker right here and it'll have a bunch of folder folders and files and all sorts of stuff inside of it. Don't worry about that. Next episode, we'll actually be getting into what to do with this and how to start your mod. For now, we're just setting up the workspace um, and that's going to be about it. So um, hopefully that all worked for you. If you have any issues, you can always leave them in the comments. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, this is going to be an awesome series. We'll hopefully make some really cool stuff with this mod. And yeah, next episode we'll be setting up some of the basics, um, some new um, code inside of the source main Java folder, but you don't need to worry about that for right now. So yeah, thanks everybody, and I will see you guys next time.